Mr. Viral? 12 views. Am I like Mr. Is that Mr. Beast level yet? What did he do to get famous? He counted to like a million or something? You're probably like 100 million away from that. What did he do to get famous? Mr. Beast, did he count to a, a million? I know, but before that. I think he either counted to a thousand or a million. I think he counted to a million live on YouTube. And that's what made that guy famous. Just counting. What? He counted live to a million, and it took like five days. But he ran a live stream for five days and counted to a million. How do you count? How do we, what? One, exactly. He just counted. Nine million, or he would say 900,000, 97, 999,998. He did it all the way to a million. So... There you go. If you do something like that, you too may get famous. You may get famous. But do you guys want to be famous? I, want to yeah. be, I, want, I, I don't know. I don't think I'd want to. I, I want to be like quick famous. If you but like how famous do you want to be? Do you want like paparazzi following you so it's dangerous to move around? Yeah, like, no, I, would yes. paparazzi. I wouldn't want that. Yes. I don't think I'd want that. I also don't think I'd want to be rich or at least I wouldn't want people to know I was rich. So... So you want to be like, if you're famous, yeah. you've got to be in like a small clip, like, clip. Yes. Like fashion design. Yes. Or like a movie maker. That's fine. Yes. What do you think I'm saying? I agree. Okay. People up front. Monty, you with me? Jaden, you with me? Jaden. You with me? Oh, Aiden. I'm sorry. Aiden, not Jaden. You with me? You with me? Okay. All right. Any questions on this? Okay, I am. Yes, I can move the paper a little bit down. How far? That good enough? Okay. So, in a second, I am going to draw a line on the board and we are going to be measuring it. Because today, we're going to start our journey into measuring. It sounds like, Mr. Heller, what are you going to do with a line? I can do a lot. I can do a lot with a line. The question is, are you ready for it? No. All right, I'm also going to be doing some big motions with a meter stick. So I'm going to train you right now. I'm going to be going like this motion, all right? So whenever I do this motion, this is how I want you guys to react. You have to all say, ooh, all right? So let's practice. So if I do this, you guys all practice. Ooh. That was good, but Zoe didn't do anything. So we're going to do it again. Ready? Ooh. Okay, all right, I like that. Okay, I feel good. All right, are you guys ready for me to draw my line up on the board? Okay. So I am going to draw a line here on the board and we are going to measure it. Are you guys ready for my line? All right, here we go. This is a line. On, actually, I think this would be good. Right here. Not yet. Not yet. Do you guys like that line? No. It's too long. It's too long. There we go. Now do you like it? No. It's too short. It's too short. Now it's too short? Right. Yeah, I like it. Oh, see, that looks horrible. That looks good. At this time, if we could have letters Q through T make their way to the gym for pictures. Anybody? Okay, go quick so you can get back. Go quick. Go for it. Okay, I'm going to measure the line with this meter stick. Can you guys see? What I have on this meter stick. What does this meter stick say? It says one meter, agreed? Yes? Do you guys see it just says one meter? Okay. So if I put this meter stick up here, what can I say about this line? It's like three quarters of, no. Like, I can I even say three quarters of a meter? There's only one thing I can say right now with this measuring tool. It's under a meter. Would you agree that this is less than one meter? Okay, I do too. So I'm going to write down less than one meter. So I have less than one meter. Are you guys okay with that? Okay, are you ready for this? Okay, are you ready? No. Wait, I told you, all right? Are you ready? <laughs> Kenzie didn't do it. Ready? Here we go. One more try. Okay, yeah, that was good. What have I done to my meter stick? How did I make it different? In the metrics, we, it's based off of what number? 
10. So I divided this into 10. So these are now decimeters. Agreed? So now I have decimeters. If I put this up on my board now, now I have, what do I have about? Six. Is it exactly six? So I'm saying if I put this on the board, which is hard to because it makes my board go wonky. All right. Is it a little after six? Yeah. We think a little after six? So six point what? Six point three? Six point two? Can we get on board with six point two or six point three? What do we want? Six point three. Okay. So now I have get rid of this. I have six point three decimeters. What just happened to my number? It became more Another word, another word I'm thinking of for other than specific, it's a P word. Precise, yes. My number just became more precise. Are you guys ready for this? Yes, but you would agree that 6.3 decimeters is better and more precise than less than one meter. Yes, okay. Are you ready? Everyone, are you ready? Oh, that was good. That was good. Now I feel like a true magician up here. Okay. I do, some, I do know some magic tricks. So now I divided my decimeters. Now what do I have for my smallest line? I now have what? Centimeters. Agreed? Mm -hmm. Yes. I now have centimeters on my ruler. So if I put this up here, I need volunteer. Scout his hand up first. Scout, come here. It's going to be easier. Scout can read this for us. So now I have centimeters. How many centimeters would you say that is? I can't put I'd it on the screen. Say, oh, See, I, 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 saw two, okay. I saw 62 before it went wonky. All right, 62 point 60, what? 63 now. But uh, 63? Point 2. So 63.2? 60, yeah. All right, give Scott a round of applause. That was great. Oh. You can sit back down. All right. So now I have 63.2, 63.2 centimeters. I have 63.2 centimeters. Did my number just get more precise? Kind of. It did, right? Question. I can see a little pattern going on. So what's the pattern? The decimal point just moves from one to the right. Exactly, right? Because I'm getting more to measure with. I'm dividing by 10. The decimal is moving one to the right. Are you guys ready for this? I don't know if Lyra did it. We're going to do it one more time. All right, one more time. Here we go. All right, now, my smallest line is now what? My smallest line is not centimeters. I now have what? Inches. Millimeters. I now have millimeters. You guys all see that? Yeah. All right, Aliana, come on up here. Help me out here. So I have, did my line, like, change shape? Hold on, let me get rid of some of this extra stuff. Okay, what would you say is the length of this line now? Did the line, oh, hold on. Some of it erased, hold, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, all right, so if I go here, what would you say that is, 60 what? 62 point, I see 65. 65? Yeah. Okay, 65 point what? Oh, wait, I see 67.2. 67.20. All right. Because you think it's exactly on the two? No. Was it past the two? 67.2 what? Five? Sure. Okay, give Aliana a great round of applause. That was great. So now I have 67. 67.25 centimeters. So every time my number got more what? Say it again. Precise. It got more, what'd you say? Now this would be where the magician like has a fifth side. I don't though, it just goes back to the original. But like if I did, that's like, that'd be like Las Vegas style magic. Um, but I, this is not magic, this is science. So did you guys pick up a paper on the way in that says Sig Diggs? 
says sig digs. Yes. So why did we just do that? Well, there is a reason. There is a reason. So significant digits are the following. Who here has ever heard of significant digits before? Raise your hand. Who's heard of significant digits? Some people have. Who was your teacher last year? Ms. Kreitz. Daisy, who'd you have? Who? Lorenz? Okay, so I know Estevanic talks about this too. Did you guys have your homework from last night? Yeah. Can I see it quick? Real quick? You're good. Just pause for one second. Riley's got it. That's good. How was your picture? Horrible. I'm sorry. I cried. You cried? Yeah. <laughs> she was. Why? Yeah, I'm sorry. You got to see it? Yeah. Yeah, we got to see it. I went up there and they're like, what's your name? And I was like, Mr. Musser. No, I'm kidding. I didn't do that. But that'd be funny if my picture was for Mr. Musser. Okay. Significant digits. Here is how I define them. I like to say significant digits are just a fancy, they're just a fancy way to round. Significant digits are just a fancy way to round. What do you mean by that, Heller? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'll probably show you that. We'll see. We'll get to that. So I have created three significant digit rules. These are mine. These are my own words. I made these up. So here are my three rules. We're going to talk about the rules and we're going to apply them. Cool? Rule number one. For any number greater than one, so we're going to put the number one here, or you can write the word one. Either one's okay. For any number greater than one with a decimal, all digits are significant. All digits are significant. What does that mean? You'll see in a second. You'll see in a second. Rule number two, for any number greater than one without, so I would underline without a decimal, without a decimal, all digits are significant except zeros at the end. So everything counts except for zeros at the end. Rule number trace, for any number less than one with a decimal, all digits are significant starting, starting, at the first non-zero digit. So I've thrown a lot of words at you. Agreed? Yes? So what does this mean? So once again, any number greater than one with a decimal, all digits are significant. For any number greater than one without a decimal, all digits are significant except zeros at the end. And then finally, for any number less than one with a decimal, all digits are significant starting at the first non-zero digit. You guys got that? You have it down though, right? Did you get that copy down? Yeah. Okay, I'm not saying it, do you understand it yet? So what we're gonna do down here is we're gonna try to identify which rule it's talking about and then try to say, how many sig digs are in that number? Cool? Are you guys ready? Monty's not ready, why not? You gotta get in the zone. You gotta get in the zone. All right, I'm in the zone, auto zone. Okay, here we go. This first number is 5 million. So what do you have to ask yourself? Is it greater than 1? Is this number greater than 1? Okay. Does it have a decimal? No. no. So which rule are we looking at? Rule number 1, 2, or 3? 1, 2. Rule number 2. Look at rule number 2. You would agree rule number 2 says greater than 1 without a decimal, yes? 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 So this is rule number 2. And then rule number two says, all digits are significant except what? Zero. Zeros at the end. Are there zeros at the end of this number? Yeah. There's a lot of them. So do these zeros count? No. no. So how many significant digits does this number have? One. one. You got it. It has one significant digit. Cole, you can sit right there. Finally, Lonnie. Welcome. Were you getting your picture taken or did you just get here? Okay, do you have pass? Thank you. Do you have your half sheet signature to give me yet? Probably not. Okay, I need that as soon as possible. Okay, here we go. 
Next one. Is this number greater than 1? No. no. So it's less than 1, agreed? Yeah. So this is which rule? Three. Rule number 3. Okay. And rule number 3 says all digits are significant starting at the first non-zero digit. Is this a non-zero digit? No. no. Is this? No. Is that? No. Is that? No. Is that? No. So none of these count. So starting at the first non-zero digit, how many significant digits do I have? Two. two. I have two. I have two. Next one. Is this number greater than one? Yes. Does it have a decimal? Yes. So I'm looking at rule number one. Because rule number one says any number greater than one with a decimal. You would agree that that satisfies both of those things, yes? And what does it say after that? All digits are significant. How many digits are in this number? Five. So this rule number one has five sig digs. Try the last three on your own. Try the last three on your own. Don't overthink them. Even this one, just follow the rules. Try them. See if you can identify the rule and the number of sig digs. The rule and the number of sig digs. Cole, did you pick this paper up on the way in? Did you pick this paper up on the way in? He's got it? Okay. Question. What? Try your best. I want you to try, then we're gonna we'll talk through it. Identify the rule. First, try to figure out the rule, and then based on the rule, figure out how many sig digs. What's that? What's that? Like, what I count the sig digs from the decimal all the way. So you have to figure out is that is first of all is that rule number two? Is this number greater than one? Is that greater oh, than one? No. no. It's so it's rule number three. Yeah. Rule number three. Yes. Greater than you got it. Mm -hmm. Don't overthink these. Yes. For the last one, yes. Um, starting at the first non-zero digit, yep. would that be that one? Yep. So. You got it. So don't overthink these. If you follow my rules, you will be successful. Think you got it? Okay. Take another minute, wrap this up. Don't overthink it. L or Ellie? L. Okay. Have I been calling you the right name? I think so. Oh. Just sure. Yeah. Yes? So, like, I understand these, but, like, um, so once you figure out the rule, Right? So greater than one. It says for any number greater than one without a decimal, all digits are significant except zeros at the end. So are these zeros at the end? Yeah. So just one, two, three. Then you just follow the rule and figure out how many count. You're just saying which ones are count. Yep. So that be three? Yep. You got it. You got it. Okay, one more minute. We're gonna talk about this. Okay, let's see how you guys did. First one, this was not meant to be tricky. There's about two ways you could have done this. First of all, what is this written in? Do you guys know what this is called? Scientific notation, right? So I could put that into standard notation. I've got 10 to the 6, which means I need to move the decimal. How many spots? 6, which way? To the, to the right. I could do that. So if I do that, 
That makes it 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You don't have to do that, though. Because ignoring this, this number, is that number greater than 1? Yeah. Does it have a decimal? Yeah. Yes. So that's rule number what? One. Rule number 1. And rule number 1 says everything counts. It says everything counts. So... How many sig digs does this number have if they both count? Two. It has two sig digs. Why did, I, why did I not need to convert it? Well, if I did, this would then turn into rule number what? This is now rule number two. Rule number two says zeros at the end don't count. Agreed? It's still two. So either way, you will get the same number of sig digs. That's why use my rules and don't change it. Does that make, head nod if that makes sense. Good. Okay, next one. Rule number what? Two. Rule number two. Rule number two says zeros at the end don't count. So Lyra, what'd you say for how many sig digs? Three. Because those are zeros at the end, so I have one, two, three. I have three sig digs. Three sig digs. Last one. What rule number, L? What? Rule number three, I agree. And rule number three says everything counts starting at the first what? Non-zero digit. Is one a non-zero digit? So I just count. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So there are five sig digs in that number. Do you agree that these rules are super helpful to follow through? If you use these rules, it really will help you to be successful. Now you might ask, Mr. Heller, what, what are we going to do with this? You'll see. The first thing we have to do, though, is be able to identify how many sig digs. I have practice for you. I have practice for you. So I have here 20 practice problems. So I want you guys to take this and run through this on your own. So take one, pass it back. Take one pass back. So you don't have to write the rules down anymore. What? This is, you'll finish this in class. I'm going to do this right now. You don't have to write the rules down, but use the rules to determine how many sig digs. So you just have to write down how many sig digs. You just have to use the rules to write down how many sig digs. Ask me a question if you have one. I'm going to close the door because of the banging outside. What's up? Um, I don't think I have anybody to take this for you. I'm not sure. Okay. Well, well the pictures is a little tricky. So you're just saying how many sig digs? That would only have two sig digs. Is it greater than one without a decimal? So the zero at the end doesn't count. Huh. We're, we're not writing down the rule, we're just writing down how many sig digs on this one. Just how many sig digs, yes. I, I'm confused on like, what that kind of means. So we're saying how many of these numbers count? So this is greater than one, right? Mm -hmm without a decimal. Are there any zeros at the end? No. So you're just saying how many of those, just count one, two, how many are in the number? Four. So it did, like. So it's four. I just don't count two zeros, so that'd be one, two. Yes, you got it. Yes. Good, good, good. It's greater than one, right? Yeah. Has a decimal. Everything counts. Okay. Everything counts. We're just saying how many places count. So what are you going to say for this first one? Yes. Look at your rules. So have this out, right? Yeah. Less than one, right? Yeah. So at rule number three. Do I start from the zero? Now? It says you start start at the first oh, non-zero. So, so that's a zero. That's a zero. How many oh, numbers after that? Yes. Okay. Yeah, these rules are really good, guys. Really good if you follow them. What's up? Can I count this as a 
was like a number? Nope. Before? Remember, we ignore that. Okay. Just look at that number. So how many sig digs? Two. Yep. So I ignore the one by the two. Which one? For ten. We don't care about that because if you would convert it, it would still be the same. So just look at the number. What's up? It's okay. So grab what you picked up, grab on the way in that paper. Right here. Yes, yes, yes. There should be four because it's only zeros at the end. This one, greater than one with, with a decimal, everything counts. So Sawyer, so you're probably going to want to watch these notes back, but get them copied down from somebody for now. Yeah. Here's what we're working on right now. Do you have your homework from last night done? The metric mania? No. Okay. All right, what do we got? It does, it's two either way, right? Without that, it's two. Those zeros don't count. It's still two. Okay. Two either way. All right, looks like people are starting to wrap up. Keep going. Yes. Let me check. We're going to go over this. Yes. 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 So, so far, this looks good till there. Okay. Wait, the rest of I didn't check the rest, but I just, I just went up to that point. Okay. So it looks pretty good up to there. So it's greater than one. It's greater than one. Has a decimal. So, so everything counts. That's rule number one. Okay. So you just count how many digits there are. So even though even with the decimal, yep. so like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Mm -hmm. That decimal. Okay. Because it's greater than one, has a decimal, everything's good. Okay. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna check. Good, 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 good. We'll check the first ten. Good, good, good. First ten look good. I'm guessing the second ten are good, but we're going to go over them. What's up? Let me check your first ten. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. Yeah, you're going to have to watch the notes, or it's not going to make sense. So in Google time, Classroom, watch the notes. It'll make sense. Okay. Z can go to the gym for pictures. And also, anyone who has not yeah. gotten their photo taken, please go to the gym at one, this two, time three, as well. On the, you need to fix this one? Circle four? Oh, because that's four and two. Well, no, because just the zero at the end doesn't count. Yeah. So you need to fix four. You need to fix five. Six, seven, <laughs> four, five, six, seven. You need to fix those so far. Question. Good, 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 good. Fix five. Fix six. Fix eight, nine, and ten. Out of the first ten. I'm checking the first ten when you got the first ten done. Good, good, good. Nope. Fix three. You need to fix three, fix four, fix six, three, four, six, nine, and ten need fixed. Good, 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 good. Five needs fixed. Nine needs fixed. And ten. Five, nine, and ten. Five, nine, and ten. Good, 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 good. Seven needs fixed. Ten needs fixed. Seven and ten need fixed. All right. Good, good, good. Four needs fixed. So circle that one. Four is the only one from the first ten that needs fixed. Good, good, good. Four needs fixed. Circle that one. So circle four, that one needs fixed. 
Six needs fixed. Good, good. Nine and ten need fixed. So something needs fixed on those. Good, 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 good. Nine and ten, nine needs fixed. Nine needs fixed. All right. Let's see. Yes, yes. Three, circle three, that needs fixed. Good. 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 Eight, nine, and ten need fixed. All right, did you fix them? Um, yeah, but like, um, like, would I not count that since there's a zero next to it? So it starts with the first non-zero digit. That's a zero, that's a zero, that's a zero, that's a zero. One, two. So I would count this? Yes, because it's, as soon as you start counting, everything counts after it. So that's two. Question? Did I take your first 10 yet? No. Good, good, good. Four needs fixed. Six needs fixed. Seven looks good. Good, good, good. Okay, so good work today. Tomorrow.